when did he hit it? When you went in here, one you relief. That yeah. you only had the one foot on the. On yeah, yeah. I, was gonna yeah. Punch I mean, he was right on, there. His and heel I was, was there. Through this. Guys, I don't see anything. Yeah. I don't. This is it's fucking crazy. My footing in the Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog, my amigos. All right. So uh, we were in the last pairing, which means we were the top three guys for the three days of competing. And I want to preface this video before it starts that my competitor, the guy who was playing with me and riding with me, asked Jim the night before to tell me not to film these videos. I've been filming the, these competitions for like three years now. Okay, three years. And I don't play slow. Well, Jim didn't agree. He said that's perfectly fine with me if he records so long as he keeps up his pace. And I do, I do keep my, my pace very fast. So, you know, tensions were already very high. I was playing very well, thanks to my putting. Putting was on fire, and then uh, I made a mistake on a par five. But then I birdied, and then I made another mistake on a par three. And then on hole number nine, I three putted. It was a really long putt. You can see me right there coming back. And uh, I think practicing so many days in the desert, what happens is, you know, the ground is a little bit different. It doesn't give like the valley. And so my, my left hand was on fire absolute fire you can see I'm holding it right there and I think that's just from practicing so much in the desert we had been in the desert for four days now four days of practice beating balls so that's basically it here we go hole number 10 par 4 394 yards I was two over uh, I was not able to really grip the club with my left hand but so this is my provisional All right, and then I just slow down that swing, hit it a little bit lower. And so this is a little bit testy. I had 147 here, balls above my feet. And it squirted oh to the right, and I lost that ball. Unfortunately, I lost it. Before I went to go look for it, I hit a provisional. That one was fine. I hit that one over the green and then here I am, I'm looking for the ball. And I couldn't find it. I spent a couple of minutes looking for it, but I mean it was it was pretty tough because there was really bushy there was a lot of big bushes on this side, plus there was a fence, so that right there was my fifth. And this is for a double right here. And I drained that for a double. Alright. Here we go. Hole 11, par 5, 487 yards. I'm four over. I doubled that hole. I get five strokes in this tournament. So I hit that one in the middle, pretty good shot. And then I had, I just used my four iron because like I said, my hand was on fire. And I didn't want to make a mistake considering I had just made one. I wasn't able to grip the club. So right here, all I'm trying to do is just smush it into the ground and hit it like, you know, even if it's just 150 yards down the fairway would be fine with me. So that was my four iron. I just smushed it down, hit a pretty good shot, hit it really low, and then uh, left me with about 100 yards. And I hit that one just a little bit long of the pin, but that is good enough to give me a birdie opportunity. All right. This is a birdie opportunity. We, we got, what What do you say, maybe like 18, maybe 22 feet, somewhere like that. Okay, it's gonna be a little left to right for birdie. There it is, left to right, and I just didn't get it there. Didn't get it there, so that's a par. On a hole that should be a birdie. Should be a fairly easy birdie. So that's a par. Okay. This is hole number 12, par three, 199 yards. I used my four iron. Uh, I hit it way long. 
Um, and actually, this green is a little bit hard, so I think I hit it a little bit beyond the pin, but it rolled out a lot. And that left me with probably about 40 feet. And I just put it back wow. to the pin. And that left me a tap in. And that's a par. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right, here we go. Hole 13, par 4, 393 yards. Once again, I could not hold the club very well with my left hand. And that one, I bailed on that one big time. And so what I did is I just cut back right there with that swing. And that one I smushed down into the ground, hit it really low. And let's go ahead and get the conversation going. Now, you should probably go back because I'm going to cut these down. I'm going to truncate these videos because I've already shown the meat and potatoes of what happened in the previous video. So all you're going to see really is just me dropping and then hitting my two shots to the left. By the way, I know a lot of guys have mentioned, I made a mistake on the second one, guys. I made a mistake on the second one. I should have played an unplayable. Uh, we've been in the desert for four days. It's hot out here, okay? Not to mention that there is competition. These guys are ruling against me, and I think I got a little emotional. Uh, consider also that we have a little bit of a history one of my competitors and I have actually a, probably a three-year history of arguing with one another. Um, for some reason, we're just constantly at each other's neck, and I think that's probably because of competition. Uh, you guys remember this argument? Oh, relax, buddy. All right? I've heard you. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. Favorite, I'm sorry for hitting that. Just relax. Just relax. I'm sorry for hitting that. Just shut up, buddy. I don't understand. Why don't you just what hit another ball? Wrong? Just shut up. Jesus Christ. Oh my. If you keep on saying the same old stuff, everyone. Play your own game, okay? Don't worry about my game. Alright. Buy it. Fucking idiot. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Okay, cry baby. Stop. Which happened just yeah, last year in way. one of the you biggest tournaments, know, which cost me no, first no, place no, because no, this guy no, uh, was yelling at us. So, uh, yeah, that happened. You can go back. So just consider that it's, you know, we're in the desert, it's hot, delirium has kicked in, my competition is ruling against me, he's saying I'm not able to do it, uh, so I think it became a little bit emotional more than it became reasonable, and, and uh, yeah, that's really all I can say at this point. So here I am, I'm going to drop, right? I'm not getting relief from the bush, I'm going to just fight you guys. And I dropped inside of the bush, but because of the branches and stuff, it ended up kicking the ball, and the ball moved down. Okay, Okay, and I would like to add one more variable to this. So there was the ruling that went against me, right? I played two balls, okay? Then there was the arguing, then there was the group coming back and uh, assessing the situation, and then one more variable that I think really... Uh, uh, dictated how emotionally we were feeling was that there was a group behind us that they hit into us because we were taking too long and arguing and that was definitely our fault okay all right so i punched out and then that left me with 124 i used my 52 degree and then my second ball which i played incorrectly that left me with 118 and I also put that one on the green. So I had two shots, two balls right there. You can see two balls. There's one behind me and one that I'm putting. This one's for par. It's the first one. Boom. That's a par. And this is considering I dropped correctly and everybody uh, decides that I did do things correctly. This is the second one. It was an incorrect drop. I thought I was playing it correctly. Obviously, I didn't. And that one was also a par. But it should have been a bogey it had I played an unplayable. Let's move on. Hole 14, par 3, 141 yards. I was four over, okay? And then I put it into the sand. So uh, I hit that out with my 56 degree wedge, put it right below the pin. And this is for par. And there it is. That's a par. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
Okay. Hole 15, par 4, 324 yards. I just tried smushing that. Hit it really low. And then uh, I had maybe like 40 yards, maybe 35 yards. I, I used my 60 degree wedge, just bumped it over the that bunker right there. This is for birdie. Oh, just left it a little bit short. I really could have used that right there. All right, here we go. Hole number 16, par five, 516 yards. Okay, this is a really short par five. So uh, I hit a good shot. Uh, it rolled out into the rough just a little bit. And then I used my seven iron right here. I think I had maybe like 180 yards in, 186 yards in. I used my seven iron so I could come up a little bit short to avoid the bunkers that are on the left-hand side that you don't see. And then um, that left me well short of the green, but I just used my pitching wedge. I used a little bump and run shot just to roll it up there, put it close to the pin, and I did. I put that close to the pin and left me an easy birdie opportunity, maybe four feet. Very nice. That's a good birdie right there, Mom. My goes. Oh, yeah. So back to three over. Hole 17. Par four. 343 yards. I was managing well. Very comfortably. Uh, that left me with 121 yards. I used my 52-degree wedge. Hit a good shot. Hit it a little bit to the left-hand side. And that left me this long left to rider, maybe about 20 feet. And I just lagged it up there. Nice touch, not too bad. And that's a par. Oh yeah! Playing well, maintaining composure. I get five strokes, I'm three over. Three over. Hole 18, par four. 389 yards. So drove that one right in the middle, hit a nice low fade, and then that left me with 124 in. I used my 52 degree wedge. Uh, I hit that one right on the pin, but it uh, turned to the left just a little bit, uh, which left me maybe about a 15 footer for birdie. Alright, came up a little bit short, and that's it, my amigos. I ended with the par, so I was three over on the day. I get five strokes. I shot 70, okay? And uh, I think the winner on this day shot like 65 or, I don't know, some crazy number. Some just absolutely crazy number. But I think I would have come in second place... After all the arguing and everything was settled down, I'm gonna have one more video because I have copyrighted music on that one that I would like to feature. So uh, there's gonna be one more video and I will load it very soon. I just wanted you to see the round by itself and then you will get the final ruling in the last video which will come up very shortly. Make sure to watch all the previous videos. That way you understand for context what is happening. Thanks so much for toning in. Oh yeah, my gosh. That's it. Oh.